I do not know about you, but for me, dinner is one of the hardest times of the whole day. And I am trying to make it easier on myself. And so I am going to make try and make six different freezer meals today that will feed us more than six meals because we can't eat all of it in one setting. Um, but the first one that we're going to make today is sweet pork. Just gonna put in our pork roast. One, one tablespoon of cumin. I'm gonna half actually because if it's too spicy, my kids will not eat it. One tablespoon of paprika. I don't have onion powder or garlic powder, so I'm just gonna add. These are just freeze-dried garlic and freeze-dried onion. Okay, that looks about good. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna save this for later. Put all these away. This recipe calls for cola or, oh my heavens, that is hard to open. Cola or root beer. So, going to add about a cup. Also a cup of green salsa. This is 10 ounces. I'm just going to add the whole thing because I don't want just two ounces left. Then we're going to pressure cook this for 60 minutes. This is all ready. Uh, there's nothing more I can do. On it right now and so we will go ahead and do the meatball vegetable soup this is one of my favorites it is very adaptable to whatever you want to put in it I am NOT a fan of freezer meals that just all go in the crock pot and then that's the meal because normally they they all just taste the same to me they're all cream of something with some type of meat usually chicken and they all just taste the same so I'm trying to do something different than just the normal freezer meals that you can find on Pinterest and stuff because I don't very much enjoy those. I will eat those every so often, you know, but I don't want every meal to be cream of something with chicken. And so this um, slow cooker meat veg meatball vegetable soup, um, I can't prepare everything right now, but what I can do is put all the stuff um, well, I guess I could put it all in a bag, but it calls for one jar of pasta sauce, four cups of chicken stock, um, yeah, four cups of chicken stock, a pound of meatballs, basically whatever vegetables you want to put in it, and then, and then you put it in the crock pot to just cook, you could cook it on the stove as easy, whatever. So what I'm going to do today for this recipe is I already have these. I'm not going to put them in a Ziploc bag or anything like that because it's just as easy to open these up as it is to open up a Ziploc bag when the time comes. But I am going to put these together in the cupboard so that I know um, so that they'll be right together. I'll see them and then I'll be reminded of the meal. So I'll put, I'll chop up all the vegetables and put those in a bag with the meatballs. Then I could just dump that in and dump these in and we're done. And I'm also going to chop up a zucchini and I'm gonna do it pretty darn small because none of my family likes this except for me. So I want it to be unrecognizable. Okay, I, so I wrote what it was on there and then I also wrote what I needed to add when I opened this up. What you can also do with this recipe is you can add some um, cream at the end and it will make it nice and creamy. Sometimes I add cream, sometimes I don't. If you also wanted these to be more unrecognizable, what you could do is you could put them all in there, get the veggies all cooked up because if you're using store-bought meatballs, those just re they really just need to be heated through. So what you could do is you could just put all these veggies in, get them all cooked, and then 
use an immersion blender to, um, to blend it all up. And then add the meatballs and have it cook for a little bit more. I'm just gonna add my freeze dried onions because that's easiest right now. A little bit of garlic. I'm going to put these in a separate bag because I think I might do the immersion blender before I put in the meatballs. this in the freezer and then just put these two things in the cupboard next to each other so that I can be reminded that this is a meal that we have. This meal is a cream of something, cream of chicken dump meal, but um, I got asked to make funeral potatoes for a funeral a couple weeks ago and um, if you don't know what funeral potatoes is, it's a Utah native <laughs> a uh, meal that they, not a meal, but like a side dish that they serve at funerals. <clears throat> and I had never made them before, but I got asked to make them and so I made them. And I thought, wow, this is something that my husband would really love. And to make it a meal, I added ham in it because, um, anyways. So all you do for this is one bag, a two pound bag of hash browns. And I do the diced kind. One small can of cream of chicken. Two cups of sour cream. And this, this is what I did last time too. Um, this is ranch dip that I had made for our Christmas thing. And it's not all the way eaten. And so I added this into here, which was very delicious. It was so good. Um, just those added extra spices was really good. So. I'm gonna do that again because I happen to have that, but I also have ranch dip mix that I could have added if I wanted to. So I'm gonna add the sour cream, which happens to be ranch dip. We're going to add just a little bit of onion. I love that, that's so easy to use. And then, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, two cups of chip. Two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Let me get that. Okay, this is a very handy apparatus. It's just from Amazon, nothing fancy or anything. But when you're not, I don't like getting out the food processor unless I'm doing a lot of something. And so this is really the only thing out of all the meals I'm pretty sure that I have to shred. So I don't wanna have to clean the whole food processor just for this little bit. So I just got out this, it suctions to the tabletop. I do wish that it had a higher clearance right here, but that's okay. I have bowls that fit underneath, but. And this can go in the dishwasher, which is really nice. Um, if you're on a low fat diet, this is definitely not the meal for you. That was just an eight ounce block, so it's about two cups of shredded cheese. Now we're just going to mix it together and then put it in a pan. The traditional way of serving this is cornflakes on the top. My husband despises cornflakes. So we're not going to do that, but what you can do is instead of cornflakes, what we've done before on other meals is just crush up Ritz and put a little butter with it. Oh, I forgot the meat. Um, I like to have chopped up ham for pizzas in my freezer at all times, because that's one of our favorite things to put on pizza. So I'm adding some of this ham. And I also like to have sausage chopped up and cooked at all times so that Oh, it smells good. So that we can add it to our pizza as well. And we're 
gonna add this too. That way we can just have this pretty much as a meal with some veggie side or something like that. I'm, gonna, I'm going to divvy this up into two um, different things. I'm gonna add a bit more ham on the top. So this one will definitely serve us for more, more than one meal. This one will definitely have to add a side or something to it or my husband can take this for lunch for one or two days. are ready to go in the oven now. <laughs> Not the oven, the freezer. One of our other go-to meals is um, pulled pork sandwiches. So we're going to do that and we're just gonna add the barbecue sauce later. But right now I'm going to add some salt and onions and garlic. One of the recipes that I read said to do root beer just like for the sweet pork. So I'm, go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and try that this time. It says it tenderizes it so it's easier to pull apart. This one said 12 ounces. And this one I'm going to let sit over, um, do in the crock pot overnight instead of the pressure cooker because my pressure cooker is currently being used and it's kind of late at night and I don't want to wait up another hour to um, wait for this to cook. So we're just gonna do it um, overnight on low. We're gonna add some of our onions. And some garlic. And some pepper. We're gonna add some salt. I'm just gonna set this down. And then I'm just going to let that cook all night long and we'll visit it in the morning. Okay, the next meal that I'm making, I'm calling lazy lasagna because my family really loves lasagna, but I don't want to take the time to layer it and stuff like that. So I'm just making a whole thing of spaghetti and I have some random cheeses that I need to use, like these little mozzarella balls. And this mozzarella ball, and then I also have some mozzarella cheese that was in the freezer. So we'll see if we need that much. And I also have some cooked sausage that I'm going to put in there. And I think that's it, right? Noodles, meat, cheese. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in here. This is kind of odd. It's mozzarella cheese, but then it also has mozzarella cheese with cream on the inside. I don't know exactly, but here we are using it. So we're gonna put that in there. I decided I'm going to double this because I have a lot of cheese that I need to use up and it's just another thing of pasta, so it's not really that much more effort. Our water is boiling and ready. I'm going to add two eggs to this. along with a generous helping of garlic salt. And I got cottage cheese because ricotta was so expensive in comparison. Well, this was on sale, so that's why. This was only a $1.99. I'm just gonna add the whole thing because we don't eat cottage cheese, so this'll just be really cheesy. I'm going to get these pans ready with a little bit of sauce. While that, um, while that pasta is still boiling. Now this is, there's no way that our whole, that our family can um, finish one of these in a day, but my husband is getting used to and better at um, taking leftovers for lunch. Remember, I'm just making this up as I go. I'm just gonna put this in there. about good. I'm going to put this cheese mixture on there and I'm going to do half of it. Okay, hey, not too shabby. Add half of this leftover, what I have left over on top. 
We'll see what we get out of it. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna split this one between two. Oh, I forgot to put on an um, sausage. That would be a big bummer. I'm glad that I doubled the spaghetti because now I got to use up all of that mozzarella, all of those mozzarella cheese balls, all of the cottage cheese, um, all of the sausage. I'm just using things up. Okay, now I've got two lazy lasagnas. We will let those cool down just a bit. And right before I go to bed, I will put them in the freezer. Okay, this said to discard everything except for about a half of a cup. So that's what I have in here is just about a half of a cup. And as I shred it, I'm just gonna put it back in the, the pressure cooker so that we can put the sauce on it. Okay, it says two cups of red enchilada sauce, one can or eight ounces of chopped green chilies, and half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm not going to be exact here because... Okay, that looks about good. And put in the extra of the seasonings that we had. Oh, it says heat through using saute function, so we can totally do that. It is the next morning and this is all done and it is so tender. It can just be pulled apart so easily. So we're just gonna pull this apart real quick and then uh, and then we will let it cool down a bit and put it in, actually we'll just put it in the uh, containers and then let them sit out for a little bit so that they don't change the temperature of the freezer or anything like that. So that should be about one meal's worth. I'm not gonna put the lids on quite yet because I don't want them to get too, too hot. So we'll just let them sit there for a little bit. Now we're gonna divvy out our sweet pork. Um, remember this is not, we don't just eat this by the fork full. So we usually put this on quesadillas or on tacos or um, on a salad or something like that and so it's not the star of the show well it is the star of the show because it makes it it's what makes everything delicious but it's not the big bulk part of the meal which is can be easily remedied because nachos you can just pull that stuff off the shelf and um, or a salad you could just take out the lettuce and stuff like that so even though this is not the biggest part of the meal it is it makes meals like making a meal so much easier because this is so delicious but if you want to make a meal um, if you think oh I want sweet pork sweet pork quesadillas or something you're not gonna take the time to just make this and then make a quesadilla because anyways at least I wouldn't so that's why I made this so that we can have multiple meals with sweet pork and I wouldn't have to make it each time and i found that these are perfect little portions for our family for um a couple quesadillas or a couple salads um or a couple sets of nachos so these are one cup these are one cup um uh containers so those are perfect for our family for sweet pork and remember we're only two adults and two two little kids so they don't eat a ton. <laughs> I put these in smaller ones because we can always grab two, but I don't necessarily always want a ton. I've 
if I have something like this that I know that I can take out of the freezer and have something to eat in five minutes, I am so much more likely to do that than to go find a hamburger somewhere because it's just as easy. It's not easier if you're not already in the car. So there we go. There is seven meals worth of that meat for us. Okay, we are all done. Um, that didn't take hardly any time. It took me about two and a half hours with cleanup and putting it in the containers and everything like that. So we got two lazy lasagnas. Each of this, each of these will last us at least two meals because we're only a family of four. Um, and then we have our vegetable meatball vegetable soup that all I have to do is I have to put this in the crock pot, pour this in and pour this in, and then we have um, a meal for that. We have funeral potatoes with ham and sausage, which will last us probably three meals um, from this bigger container and the smaller container. And then we have seven little containers of the sweet pork, which while this isn't an actual, like you, you're not just gonna warm this up and eat that for lunch, um, it makes a lunch or a dinner so much easier because all you have to do is warm this up, put it on chips or put it in a taco or make a quesadilla or put it on a salad or something like that. And you have a fresh lunch or a fresh dinner in 10 minutes probably. And that, because this takes quite a long time to make, you have to um, put it in the crock pot or in the instant pot. Um, I wouldn't do that. I would not make that for seven meals. I'm just gonna take the time one time to do it and then um, and then we have seven meals worth for our little family. And then we also have um, two things of pulled pork. It doesn't have the barbecue sauce put on, put on it yet, but we just like to open these up and um, put, them on, put them on hamburger buns and put some barbecue sauce on them and have it with a salad or something like that. And while these are not necessarily all inclusive like that's what you're only going to eat for dinner this having this done makes it so much easier and so much more pleasant for me because dinners are really hard for our family um i own a different business and i have to go to the post office every day by five and that's usually when most people are making dinner and my husband comes home right at that time too and so it's just chaos in our house at dinner time and so dinner time is really hard for me and I struggle with it. And so I like to give myself a leg up um, by doing these or putting, or making sure that I have dinner made already. Like when the kids go to school, I will make dinner then and then we can just warm it up later or something like that. But because dinner is a little bit hard for our family, um, I do enjoy these days where I can get a bunch of stuff done so that I know for at least a week or two that we can have good meals and we I'm not tempted to go out and buy something. The thing that I also wanted to remind you is that it takes hardly any extra time or effort to double a recipe. So like I was just going to make one of these lasagnas but I noticed I had extra cheese and I had extra sauce and I had extra sausage and so I just put in an extra package of spaghetti noodles and that made a whole extra two meals for our family. So just that little extra bit of effort can help you. Even if it's just when you are making dinner, just double it and well, if you know your family is going to enjoy it. If you if you know your family is going to enjoy it, then just double it and put it in the freezer for later or put it in the fridge for later. And that will save you a bunch of time in the long run and you will thank yourself later for that effort that you did put in, even though it was minimal. Um, you will thank yourself later for it. So thanks for coming by and we hope to see you next time. Bye! Shout out to Charlotte if you're watching this. I just got your message that you're currently watching one of my videos, so hi.